Hello, hello, we're into Gifts, Finance, and Time, Robert Bolden, Life Transform, the third in our series. I'm going to call this 2A. Last time I talked about, you know, how to, and I talked in general terms about how you get more time, how you get more income, income streams, that, that sort of thing. So now I'm going to talk in a little bit more detail about each of those areas. Let's talk about time and how do you figure out um, you know, how do you actually get more time? How do you know what to eliminate? That whole thing. I think it starts with one key, and we kind of talked about this a little bit in, gen in generalities last time. What do you love? What do you love to do? What brings joy to you? What brings peace to you? What brings fulfillment to you? I can tell you for me, um, and, and, and I started to sense it when I got emotional. Whenever I would get emotional, you know, there was a time where I was like, oh, stop, you can't get emotional, guys don't cry, <laughs> you know. And then I started getting emotional, I'm like, ooh, I need to tap into that. And it's, and it's what I discovered for me is one of my gifts is just I believe in people's potential. I see the best in people and I believe in them. I can be there. I can give them that hope that they need, right? So that's that's inherent. That's in me. I believe in others. I would say I believe in others oftentimes more than they believe in themselves. So that's a gift of mine. And then I also am able to... Um, I don't know, people always say that, that I'm real, I'm, I'm a positive person, I'm, I'm uh, you know, never down, I'm joyful, and I think that's a gift that's only been amplified since I've, you know, since, I, since God's come into my life. I've always had it, but I've realized now that that is a real gift that I have, and I need to, right, so, so once I discovered those things, Right, and, and I just and, and the way I discovered them was was by number one being able to get out of the corporate world so I wasn't on the hamster wheel. So I wasn't just a zombie, work, work, work. And then, you know, transition to the to the wine shop and that was fun and there was a lot going on, but it ended up being empty. So that's when I started to really discover, well, what is it that I was here for? Well, what are those special gifts that I have? And that's really how it led me to John Maxwell team and coaching and speaking and doing workshops and masterminds and everything I do now. So I've been able to create, a friend of mine said, yeah, you're a great example of just recreating yourself based on what your gifts are, what you enjoy doing and what you can bring to the world that's unique. So that's where it starts is, and I say, what do you love doing? You know, just take some time, take an hour and brainstorm just a list, brainstorm a list of the things that you really love doing and think into that. It's like, wow. I remember I met this guy. He's, he's, a, he's a butcher in one of the local stores here. I won't tell the whole story, but you know, he was complaining about being a butcher and the fact that he couldn't, you know, he wanted to be a cop, but they didn't let him in because of something in his past. And I'm like, dude, what do you like doing? So he told me. I said, create your own job. He was like, whoa, that's awesome. I said, yeah, don't fit into the world. You don't have to fit into a box. If you like doing that, figure out a way. I bet you there's a way you can create that. What you're doing, you can create your own job or work or company because that, that's something that people need, what you're passionate about. And he was just like, whoa, that's so cool. So look, y'all, we have to be allowed to tap into that and dream it. And don't let that yeah, but sitting on your shoulder say, well, yeah, but how are you going to pay the bills? Yeah, but, yeah, but. This is just an exercise on paper. Start off on paper, right? What do you love? What do you love? Start off on paper, and from there, you'll start to establish 
something that's very, very important, something that we usually lose once we get into this crazy world. Um, and I can bet you know what I'm talking about. Uh, it's something that's paramount within our community that you know, if you end up joining our community at a higher level, we'll ask you that question. I'm not gonna disclose that today, but you get the picture. So it starts with, what do you love? That is the key to getting more time and more treasure. What do you love? All right, we'll see you next time. We love you.